Oh, hello. So marketers say that showing users in an e-commerce application a list of their recently visited products can boost sales. And this is the kind of feature that they're going to build now. So here we have a list of products and I'm a logged in user and I'm going to be able to navigate to different products and see a list of uh, recently visited products by me somewhere on top. Now, the cool thing is that we are going to store this data in Redis, but not in our PostgreSQL relational database. Why in uh, Redis? Well, uh, if we wanted to store a list of recently visited products by a user, we would most likely create a separate database table where we would uh, create an entry for each time a user has uh, uh, opened a show page of a product. And uh, when we have a lot of users within a lot of products, this could uh, hit the database too much and uh, we would be uh, making a weird query of like getting, let's say, the last five uh, records out of the database for each user that he has uh, uh, visited, last five product uh, records. So uh, we're going to use Redis to store this data and uh, this should kind of be a more performance solution and to be able to easily integrate Redis uh, and store data in it uh, and retrieve it in a Ruby Rails application, we're going to use uh, the gem credits. And the really cool thing is that uh, except of having multiple um, uh, data types uh, like counters, uh, hashes, uh, uh, arrays, uh, we can uh, use credits to associate an active record object with uh, some uh, Redis uh, attributes so a person can have a list of names or whatever and in our cases we are going to get a user in our application to have a credit list of uh, recently opened products so let's start by installing the gem uh, uh, credits and see how we can actually make it going so i will uncomment the gem credits that has been added to the gem file by default as of rails 7 and run bundle i will also need to run rails credits install now uh, Redis is installed, Credis is installed. And let's try getting something. I will say list equals Credis dot list and we will uh, give it some kind of name. List dot elements uh, none. Let's uh, add something to the list like uh, one to three. List dot elements, we have one to three. Let's add one to three once again. And you, you see, we have this one to three two times. And uh, in our case, we don't need any duplicates. So we're going to use not list, but unique uh, list that is also described here. Unique list. And uh, the way it is shown in this example, for person, we are going to go to our user.rb and we're going to add uh, a credits uh, attribute uh, that is going to be credits unique list. We will give uh, it a name like recently opened products or recently maybe better viewed products. And we are going to add a limit of uh, let's say five records. We're going to store just the last five uh, product entries that the user has opened. And let's see if we can now access this attribute uh, from the console. So I will say reload and I will get uh, user equals user dot last user dot recently viewed products. And you see, we have access to this uh, Redis uh, array that has been created for the user. So you see, we have the users table, the uh, ID of the user and recently viewed products. Let's uh, see if there are any elements and there are none at the moment. So let's now write to this uh, 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 Redis uh, entry. And to do this, we will go to our movies controller and in the show view, we are going to say current user dot uh, recently viewed products. And we're going to add the, yeah, I'm doing it in the wrong place, not movies, but products. So uh, yes, here we're going to add the at product dot ID. And let's see if this works. So I'm going back to the application. I will, yeah, start the application. And I will try open one of the products. And you see we have something, uh, uh, some credits transactions. So something must have been written to our credits list. Let's see if 
we can get it out in the console. I will again get user equals user lost and user recently viewed products elements. And you see we have uh, one here. Okay, let's visit a few other movies. So, uh, oh, a few other products. This one, this one. Let's go back to the console and see if uh, we can access them. So here we have already a few different IDs. Now let's try displaying these IDs in a view. So we can go, for example, uh, to our uh, layout, application HTML.erb, and uh, above the yield, I will say uh, current user dot recently uh, opened products dot elements. Let's see if we can display this list. Uh, okay, so the name must have been wrong. Let's see. Uh, User.rb. Yeah, recently viewed, not open. Dot elements. And here I have a few IDs. I will uh, open a few more records and you see they get added. Now I have five. I will open something else. And you see uh, it doesn't go over five because we have previously said in the model in user.rb that we want to have just the last five elements. So let me demonstrate one scan. I'll open this one and the one like the first element gets replaced by the new one. So maximum five records. And now let's turn this into actual product uh, links to be able to view these products more easily in the future. So I will say uh, current user recently viewed products elements dot each do uh, product ID and then I will say uh, product equals product find by product ID and we will display uh, uh, let's say product name so here we have the names of the products that we recently viewed and let's turn this into links i will say link to product name product path at product and that's it we have a list of recently visited the products and whenever we visit new products the list gets updated so the like least recent out of five element gets replaced by the most recently visited element and that's basically it and this way we don't need to install this kind of uh, tiny uh, widget into our application we already can show our users the most recently visited desired products so thanks for being with me and see you in the next one